नमस्ते क्वाइट ऑफन वी हैव मेनी टिपिकल क्वेश्चन बींग आस्ट बाय द पेशेंट्स रिगार्डिंग हेमीफेशियल स्पैजम्स वेन वी टॉक टू द पेशेंट्स वी कम टू नो दैट देर आर मेनी मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग्स एंड मिसकनसेप्शन रिगार्डिंग दिस सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टेल यू द डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ हेमीफेशियल स्पैजम वी हैव विद अस टूडे मालती पंचवा शी इज एन एनेस्थेजियोलॉजिस्ट शी ऑल्सो वर्क्स एज अ पेरी ऑपरेटिव फिजिशियन and is associated with this mvd center right from its start and being looking after the patients and have handled post operative patients of hemifacial spasms welcome mrs malti panchavak uh, first question i would like to ask is what are actually these hemifacial spasms yes yeah, so like the name itself says hemi means half okay. facial to do with the face spasms means twitches okay. twitches which are involuntary which are not under the control of the patient oh, okay. so that means hemifacial spasms are twitches which are involuntary that is without the control of the patient on one side of the face it could be either the right or the left it's a very rare neurologic disorder typically it begins with twitching around the eye and then as the disease progresses slowly it starts involving the muscles of the cheek the mouth sometimes even the neck in very advanced cases by itself it's not a dangerous condition okay. that means it's not life threatening mm. but it is possible that the quality of life of the patient is so severely affected by this disease we'll talk about this later they tend to get depressed they tend to have lot of issues with social interactions and therefore they try to isolate themselves as the disease progresses mm. and this though potentially not life threatening can become uh, very isolating for the patient occasionally there are temporary twitches which are seen on the face as well mm -hmm. but these temporary twitches are not hemifacial spasm these so can how can we differentiate that these are hemifacial spasm and these are not if a patient tells us oh, i started twitching i started noticing twitching in the last 2 3 days mm -hmm. do i have hemifacial spasm mm -hmm. we typically say no just wait and watch okay it could or it could not be Okay. We need to wait and see how things develop. Very rarely, patients exactly know what they're having. But okay. you know, sometimes they have been watching some things, and then they are having these spasms or these twitches around the eye, and then they feel, is this going to be serious or something? Mm. These could be ticks. Sometimes now, all of us have started using our devices so often. Right. There are dry eyes. Our blinking rate has reduced. So many times, you know, there are movements like this that that the patients mm -hmm. make. which are on both sides of the face right. right like i told you hemifacial spasm is on one side it's mm -hmm. not on both sides so if it affects both sides of the face this is unlikely to be hemifacial spasm or it is not hemi it is both okay. so it's not a hemifacial spasm the other which is commonly um, misdiagnosed or the other disease which it is commonly mistaken for are blepharospasms okay. so blepharospasms again affects both sides of the mm -hmm. face that means both eyelids are involved in the blepharospasm and therefore this is different from hemifacial spasm mm -hmm.